I'm going to weigh in the rig. It's now complete, all the parts are on it. What I've done is I've made a small rig here to have my cell phone take a video of the scales. I have here a normal person scale. It is showing at the moment 70 kilos. My method, five pieces of two by fives and a scale. I simply ride the bike on top of the scale until the axle is in the middle and I measure the weight in kilos. Ride it to the front again, replace the scale with a piece of wood and on the other side the other way around. Do this for each axle in empty and with a passenger load. Here when I'm sitting on the motorcycle the sidecar is almost level and when I get off you can see that the motorcycle is standing a bit higher. What I'm going to do, I'm going to measure empty on all three wheels and with a passenger. This is axle 1, 2 and 3. Axle 3 is 70 kilos when empty. Now I'm going to sit. And the reading is... 72. 72. And now, please, go and sit. And while we can't see it, but the video will show what the reading is. All right, that was extra one. So now, in the comfort of my home, I have the results. According to specs, the bike is 215 kilos dry. Uh, I also separately, before mountain, have measured the sidecar, which is 105. So together, that would be like 320. And the motorcycle itself is built to carry a max, according to specs, of 389. When measuring, I found a front axle of 113, a rear axle of 132, and a sidecar of 75. That means of the 1.5 of the sidecar minus the 75, there's 30 kilos. As you can see, it's a calculation, this minus this, that is weighing on the motorcycle. So the motorcycle would be the 215 plus 13 is 245. Um, the calculation and the measuring come out very nicely. I have a fault of zero kilos. So I have a total dry weight of 320, which is both these two together as the axles together. Uh, oh, wait a moment. So, and then with the passenger in the sidecar, I get a different weight. Uh, I also made a calculation with me on it. It doesn't very much change the thing. So I take here the easier example which means that measured bike with sidecar i got on 409 kilos which means that my passenger weight including whatever there was on luggage it's 89 now usually in uh, with this sidecar you will find that the passenger is sitting a little bit in front of the sidecar axle and the luggage in the back is behind the sidecar axle so this is not a complete direct thing because the distribution of what the sidecar will do on your front or rear wheel will depend on how much you have passenger and how much you have luggage but i don't think it's very important to figure that out i simply want to know a rough number that how much can i load it before i am overstressing the motorcycle a, passenger, a total weight, I find a passenger and luggage for 89, but I see that 64 kilos have increased on the sidecar axle between empty and loaded. And the motorcycle thing is only 25. 
And that means that the motorcycle carries only about 28% of whatever I put into the sidecar. And this is very nice to know because I can now add to the motorcycle standard weight. I can add my rider, that's me usually, my fuel, clothing, stuff like that. I did my measurements with a half tank full. Um, taking calculations that I have panniers, I might add something there. And um, that would call for a motorcycle total weight that would typically be then 365, which means I can still add 33 kilos on the motorcycle before I reach the uh, maximum allowed 389. And this 33 kilos is the portion that I can add from the sidecar. Now I know that. I take only 28% of the sidecar load on my motorcycle, so that means that I can take a total weight of 117 in my sidecar. So if I have an 89 kilo person, I can still add 28 kilos of luggage on top of the 20 that I have in my panniers, so that's 48 kilos. And the total allowable rig weight would be 620. The stupid thing with Finnish regulations is that the sidecar motorcycle will not get a higher allowable total weight. The original solo motorcycle weight, in my case 398, will still apply, even if you have the sidecar on it. And taking into account that my dry weight is roughly 320, I would have to lose weight quite a lot uh, just in order to have me on the motorcycle and not access the 398. But we have for decades done the thing, uh, also with these beamers. So I'm going with a confident heart for the 620 without having any problems on the motorcycle because a lot of the stress is taken on the sidecar. On top of that, I have stronger front springs, I have stronger rear springs and rear shocks. The subframe is also supporting my normal frame in a way that it is stronger than it used to be, especially in lateral ways. And of course, I have a brake on my sidecar, so I have no problem with it. I would be careful with taking the third person, so a passenger on the back. Though it is allowed by law, but my maximum weight, yeah, we'll see. That depends completely on how it handles and which setting of the springs uh, on the rear shocks is the best with the sidecar. If there's still one or two notches that I can put them even stronger, then I'm sure I will be able also to have passenger on the back every now and then. We'll see. Um, updates will follow. See you again.